I'm Legislator Healy, and I'm Vice Chairman of the Space Needs Committee. And uh, we'll call the Space Needs Committee meeting of March 20th, 2024, to order. And the first order of business will be roll call. Madam Secretary. Mr. Demick. Mr. Healy. Here. Mr. Sear. Mr. Fanton. Here. Mrs. Hanchett. Here. Mr. Havey. Here. Mrs. Root. Here. And Mr. Harris. Five present, two absent. Uh, quorum being present, and we'll continue. Uh, second on the agenda is approval of the minutes of February 21st, 2024. I'll entertain a motion. Havey will move that. Moved by Mr. Havey, seconded by Fanton. Mr. Fanton. Any discussion, corrections, deletions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Next up is uh, old business, and the county administrator, Mrs. Knapp, will uh, highlight uh, the progression of some of our projects. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we do have some ongoing projects that will be coming to Space Needs so that you guys could do some more in-depth conversations of them. None of them are, are quite ready yet. Um, just continue to look for office space for our departments that are most in need. Um, we are very close to bringing something to committee for our community services building. Um, we've looked at some other properties but have decided that they are, are not really anything that we are um, interested in or would be suitable for some of our county offices at this moment. Um, our, our friends at Hunt who we have a contract with to do space needs analysis I believe they're starting to meet with department heads. I want to say it's tomorrow to go over some of our department heads that are uh, most in need to examine um, their space needs uh, questionnaire responses to see if there's any more information they could pull out of them. Hunt also completed our building needs um, assessment. We have that information back. Um, it's a lot of good information. You can go right through building by building, room by room, and it'll tell you um, what you need to do for updates and allows you to plan that over, you know, how many years, five years, 10 years. Um, so you'll have some good capital planning tools available to you. Um, trying to think if there was something else. Carissa, oh, yeah. oh, go. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I, I wanted to know when we'd be getting a copy of the space needs report. We're not, we're not anywhere near done. Oh, so okay. <laughs> that's where, that's okay. why Hunt's coming down. They'll be gathering more information on just the questionnaires that were sent out. I'm, I'm going to say it's probably going to be about summertime before that'll be done. Um, the third floor upstairs, I, I believe we're holding off on doing anything with that until we have that done. Um, the other thing is uh, transportation. You know, we have our transportation system is uh, managed by Ardent. We work with First Transit, also known as TransDev. Um, we did put out for an RFQ for engineers to build our own um, bus facility for garaging um, purposes. So we'd have a wash bay and a mechanics bay that could go hand in hand with any future DPW facilities. So we did do a review of those RFQs to look at someone once they have some design work or other things that would probably be a, an appropriate committee to go over some of those things with. But we're, we're far away from that too. A lot going on, just nothing ready for um, our board members to sit down and roll their sleeves up and talk about. Well, uh, when Hunt takes a look at the campus mm -hmm. here, of course, I'm always I'm concerned with. I don't think over the years, it, and it's always been kind of a band-aid approach to quite often. So it doesn't seem to me like the flow between our departments, the departments mm -hmm. that need to be get together, are necessarily, you know, on site, and, and also. I think uh, uh, parking is another issue yeah. that uh, I'm, I'm concerned with. There's not enough parking. If we address some of those flow needs and, and uh, with what departments we concentrate with up here on the campus, I think they'll take care of some of our parking. I, uh, I, I agree. Um, so that was part of the questionnaire is what other departments do you need to work closely with? Um, which ones do you work with at all? But closely is, is really um, operative. Our employment and training office has some of the greatest needs. I mean, we, we had demo their building. They're in very temporary housing. They're difficult because they require um, very close interaction with the Department of Social Services, and they feel as though they need to be very close to this campus, and there's not a lot of building space 
close to this campus, so their needs are harder to meet than other offices that could go out um, beyond this campus. So those are things that they've looked at and will continue to look at. Okay. Uh, I see Dean has joined us there from DPW. Do you have anything that you to add? I'm sure Chris nailed it. I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Hi. I appreciate Dean's confidence. <laughs> Any other questions for the administrator or Dean? Uh, hearing none, thank you. Thank you. Any new business? Anything for the good of the order? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. Mrs. Root? I'll make that motion. Mrs. Hanchett, seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Carried. Thank you.